Hey y'all, it's Tamika for day 5 of my 30 day juice fast. So let's go ahead and get into it, okay? The good, the bad, and the ugly today. The good today was resisting temptation. So let me tell y'all about that. We had a back to school picnic at the church. And they grilled hamburgers, hot dogs, and sausages. That's not a temptation for me because I don't eat red meat. Um, but they had strawberry cake. That is a huge temptation for me. Um, to the point where someone came to the room I was sitting in and said, Hey, they are um they just put out the cake. So I got up, like got literally got up out of my seat, went to the door. Now, everybody that's in that, that little area with me, they they know my journey. They know that I'm on the you know, doing the juice fast and you know, for 30 days and all of that. And not one person said, hey, what are you doing? No, you're not giving any cake. But I felt like all their eyes was just, I just felt like they was just like, yeah, go ahead and get that cake and see what happens. That's what I felt. But nobody said anything. I just, they was munching and crunching on, you know, their food. They weren't paying attention to me. But I stopped at the door and I turned around and I asked my husband, was he ready to go? And, um, he was like, yeah, if you're ready. And I said, yeah, because I needed to get out of there because that was a huge temptation for me. And although nobody in the room verbally said anything, because I've made this journey so open and public, and it's on Facebook, it's on YouTube, I felt like that they were saying something even though they wasn't. That was that accountability. And I need that in my life. I need this. I need accountability for this journey. I need someone to call me out when I fail and help me to recognize where my weaknesses are and what I can do to prevent that. So I, I want to thank my, you know, just thank my followers because I feel like I was going to have to come on here and tell you guys about eating that cake and I didn't want to do that. I don't want to have to tell you. I done that. Yeah, I'm going to have weak moments. And there may be a time during these 30 days that I do break and I do eat something. But I guarantee you that it's probably going to be a whole meal before it be a piece of cake. If I'm going to break it, I'm going to break I'm going to go out with a bang. And, uh, <laughs> but I don't plan to go out. So the whole point to tell you guys that story was to tell you the good I was able to resist the cake and to thank y'all for the accountability. Even what you're not saying anything. Just the fact that I put this this video is out there, so I know that you I know you're watching, and I was gonna have to give an account for eating that strawberry cake, and I didn't want to do that. So, get into the bad. Well, everybody knows when you're at church, it's like you get extra hungry. Is I don't know what it is about church that that really makes me extremely hungry, <laughs> and so. Today I had hunger that I had never had before. Well, not never had before, but that I never had, that I didn't have, I hadn't experienced it this week, I'm sorry. And so then to go with all of that hunger to the picnic and, um, and then have to resist that cake, yeah, that was pretty tough. But I... And you may be wondering, well, why did you go to the picnic if you, you know, why would you put yourself in that situation? Well, because I, my husband wanted to go. And you have, you still got to have a social life. You can't just shut yourself off and say, oh, I, I'm not going to do that. Or I can't be around these people. Some things you, you do have to avoid. But you do, you still have a social life. You know what I'm saying? So you still got to be around people. You're going to have to be around food. You're just going to have to resist that whatever it is that you're trying to cut back from you're just going to have to resist it and that's what you know happened yesterday so good the bad the good and the bad we went on the ugly i woke up with the worst headache and my throat was so sore and i know this is all the detox thing and everything but you guys know i've had a headache you know since i started but it's just been like you know, it had it's been tolerable. I could, you know, listen to music, watch T V clean, you know, do have a normal life with that headache. But the headache that I experienced when I woke up was 
it was pretty bad. Then it got better as you know as I got to church and went on. But then later, it's like I, I couldn't do anything but take a nap. I mean, it was really bad. I couldn't do anything but just lay down. So, huh, it's it's getting better, but it's still pretty bad. So that was my day, guys. Um, I just want to encourage you to resist the temptation. And not only resist temptation, but figure out where your weaknesses are and how you can avoid those weaknesses. And get you an accountability partner. I mean, somebody that, that's going to tell you the truth because they love you and because they want you to succeed. You know, you may not be ready to put it out like I did so everybody can see and everybody can criticize and everybody can give their opinion. You know, because that's basically what I've done, whether the opinion is positive or negative, my journey is out there to be criticized. But that's okay with me, because I welcome the criticism, because it may I may learn some things in that criticism. Somebody may ask a question that I didn't think about, that I need to go and do further research and just to educate myself. But that's where I am in this journey. You may not be there. So you, you need somebody that's going to hold you accountable. And somebody that's going to just be like, oh, so you just you just eating pizza now? I mean, like, what you doing? You know, somebody that's not going to sit down and eat the pizza with you and say, girl, we'll start over tomorrow. No, you need somebody that's going to just going to hold you accountable to this thing. Because it's real. It's tough. And so you need that partner in your life. And I'm, I'm very thankful that I have several people that I see on a regular basis that hold me accountable and then I have my YouTube family and I have my Facebook family that's watching my videos and they're going to hold me accountable as well so anyway guys that's it until tomorrow y'all have a great day bye bye